Now, erase this. Can I erase that? Yeah. Okay. Oh, what did I do? There we go. Okay, so let's do something that's a little bit more uh, complicated. Okay. So let's look at, let's say, oh, I don't know, do you have one there that you need, you, you're struggling with? Yeah, sure. Hold on. Let me. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so we want to today. So, like, uh, these ones are like bigger, but so four. Cube like root four. two e to the fourth cube. Hold on. So of course, uh, my phone's on low battery right now too. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. So what's the root? Is it just a square root? Uh, cube root. Cube root. So there's a cube in there, and it's, you said there was a four on the outside already. Yeah, and then it's okay. two p to the fourth. Mm -hmm. Q minus six p. There's a minus six in there. Yeah, then like it's then minus p like outside of the cube root. Oh, I see. Okay. So do I have the first part right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then minus 6p? Yeah, and then q root 2. So something like that. Does that make, can you read that? <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, and then there's a Q beside the P inside the Q group. Oh, there's a Q in there. Yeah, at the end. Okay, that makes more sense. Though. Like that then? Yeah. Okay, so what do you know about adding and subtracting radicals together? Um... <laughs> Not a lot, to be honest. Okay. Okay. So, okay. So when you're adding and subtracting radicals together, the index, do you know what the index is? Yeah. It's like the three. The three is the index. The index has to be the same. And so does the radicand. Okay. Do you know what the radicand is? That's the, uh, oh, I think it's, it's the thing that's inside the radical sign. Okay. So in the first one, the four, 2p to the fourth q. Yeah. Technically, the radicand is the 2p to the fourth q. Okay. And in the in the second uh, term, the 2p q. Yeah. That's the radicand. So when you're subtracting, they have to be the same. So when you're adding and subtracting, they have to be the same. And now these ones aren't the same, are they? No. No. So when we're when we're looking at this, we need to be thinking, well, because they're not the same. There's probably something that we can do. Because no one's going to give you this kind of question and ask you to do something with it Just and not be able to do anything with it. Okay. okay. So, so this, this can be simplified. And if we look at just the first term, if we just look at this, this can be simplified because we're doing the cube root We're doing a cube root of something that's raised to the power of four, mm -hmm. which means one group of three. exactly there's one group of three. Yeah. So if we take out one group of three from four P's, how many P's are left? One. One. So when we do that, that's my new radicand. Okay. Because I took out that group of P, right? Mm -hmm. And I put that, well, that's supposed to be a three. I put that out here with the four because for every group of three I put one outside the radical okay so you bring it okay. out of the radical exactly 
So once I've done that, now you can see that this, this here has the same radican as this one. Yeah, so now you 2PQ. Can. And now you can simplify and add and subtract those together. And you add and subtract those just like um, adding and subtracting variables and stuff. They have to have the same, right? So when, when we add and subtract X's and Y's, they have to have the same power, right? The same exponent. Yeah. So when we're adding and subtracting radicals, they have to have the same index and the same radicand. Now they do. And so now we can solve it. So basically it's 4P minus 6P is? Yeah, negative 2P. Negative 2P, negative 2P. And then the index and the radicand stay the same. 3, okay. 2P Q. squared. Oh. Or Q, 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 not squared, Q. Okay. Right, so once you have the radicand and the index that are the same, you just add and subtract. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. So, what, you guys use the Pearson book, right? Uh, yeah. Pearson book, yeah. Um, so, yeah, when you're adding, when you're doing any of the addition and subtraction questions, you're always going to look to try and see if you can simplify those radicals to okay. make them the same. Because if they're not the same, you can't do anything with them. Okay, and then you just leave it? How it is. Then, then you would just leave it. Okay. So if we, couldn't, if we couldn't make this simpler, then we would just leave it as it's written. So okay. for example, if, um, if let's say that four, yeah. so see how they took that four out of there? Well, actually, that's a bad example. I gotta, I gotta write something else in there. So let's say there was a two in there instead of a four. Okay. I, I can't make those simple enough to be the same. I can't do anything to it because there's no group of three. Right. There's no group of three in there to take it out. So, so I can't make it any different. So they're really, really similar, really close, but they're not exactly the same. So I can't combine them. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. So what, what might be next then? Uh, there's a question. I don't know if I'll explain. I'll try to explain this right. Uh, so it says a square with area 24 square units is placed beside a square with area 50 square units. And then okay. write a radical expression for the perimeter of the shape. <laughs> okay. All right, let me, uh, you know how to get a new page or do I have to erase all this? Um, oh, I think it's so sideways. Oh no, I just got it and I got nothing right here. I think you can clear it. It's okay, I can just go sideways. So basically, this is what you have. You have a small square and a big square. Ooh, wait, those are squares. <laughs> A small square and a big square sitting are side by side. Yeah. And the area, the area of this square, the little one, is 24. And the area of the big one is 50. So, what do you know about the area of squares? <clears throat> the sides have to be the same? The side lengths are the same. Yeah. Sure, that's a good start. Yep. So, that means that that side length and that side length and that side length and technically give me a big one here are all the same size. Yeah. You know how to find that? <laughs> okay, hold on. So what if I said, what if we said that this the area of this square was uh, 25? Yeah. You, can you tell me what the side lengths were? Five. Five, exactly. How did you get that? Mm, 25 divided by 2 is 12 and a half. No, no uh, like square root it. <laughs> exactly, you would square root it, right? So if you square root, if you square root 25, you get 5, and that's your side length. 
So you do the same thing with the 50. Mixed radical. Yeah, but this way you're gonna end up with a mixed radical, exactly. Okay. So if I do the square root of 50, if I do the square root of 50, then what's my mixed radical? Uh, you know how to get those? Five, two. Uh, five, uh, five root two, yeah, exactly, five root two. So you're okay with finding mixed radicals then? <laughs> yeah, I'm slow, but I'm okay. That's okay. That's slow is fine, as long as you can get it. So um, so this is the same as 5 root 2. Yeah. Which means that this is 5 root 2. And so is the other side. And so is the other one, and so is the other one. Okay. Now what about 24? What's the side length of the square that's 24? Uh, 2 root 6. Two root six, yeah, exactly. So okay. this is two root oh, ten, ten, two root six, and that's two root six, and that's two root six. Right, same thing. Okay. So, and the question asks for the perimeter of the shape, right? Yeah. So we that means we would have to go five root two plus five root two plus five root two plus what? Two root six plus yep. six plus two. Yeah. Yeah. Now this is where we run into the problem. We only want to add this part. Right. How do I find that part? Um, five root two minus two root six. Exactly. Okay. So now you can take your uh, five root two. And your five root two, and your five root two, and your two root six, and your two root six, and your two root six, and add them all together, and then add a five root two minus two root six. Okay. <laughs> and remember, your root twos will add together, and your root sixes will add together, so you'll end up with something that's got two two terms: one being a five root two, and one or one being a root two, and the other one having root sixes. And you okay. won't be able to combine those together. And to add them, you just have to uh, expand them, right? Uh, no, to add them, you just leave them uh, as uh, as their mixed radicals. So let's, let's have a look. Let's say. So we had a, how many five root twos did we have? Three. Well, four, including the. Uh, well, let's stick with this three. Oh, four, I, yeah, five root two. Let's say four, five root two. So five root two plus five root two plus five root two plus five root two. So there's the four, and then how many root six, uh, the, the two root sixes? Uh, two root six. 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 But remember, we subtracted one of those, didn't we? Yeah. Minus two root six. So we have our five five root twos and our three two root sixes minus one of the two root sixes. Yeah. So, so five root two, so this five root two, this five root two plus this five root two plus this five root two plus this five root two, two add together to give. Oh, do you just add the, oh, right. Yeah. Okay. So, so remember, you add the coefficients together. Okay. So but you you keep that radical and the radicand the same. So, so it's 20 root 6, or 20 root 2. Okay. And then, what are these going to simplify to? Um... Eight root, or well, no, I guess, hold on, four root six? Four root six, exactly. So your answer is 20 root two plus four root six. Okay. And then we have to, we don't have the same radicand, so. So that's it? 
your answer has has two radicals in it, and that's all you can do. Okay. <clears throat> How do you kind of know when you can't simplify it anymore? Oh, that's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you have your radicals as simple as they can get, so I can't simplify these twos at all anymore. Right. That's as low as they go. That's when I'm going to start combining them together. The okay. sixes, right? So that's the whole reason why we learn how to uh, simplify radicals. So remember you took that root 50? And you made it into five root two right away. Okay. So remember how you took that root 50 and yeah. you switched it to that mixed radical right away? Mm -hmm. If you simplify all your radicals as you're working with them, and if they're in their simplest form, then you won't have to worry about if you have to do more. Okay. Just know that when you're adding and subtracting, that what's inside and that index have to be the same. Have to, have to, have to. Okay. Um, is it okay if I ask you another one? Yeah, absolutely. So do you have to walk me through how do I clear this off of here? Um, so for me, at least, I see like at the top, there's like a bar and then it says clear all, clear my drawings or clear all drawings. I'm not sure if you have that, but. I don't know. Okay. If you click that thing, will it clear? Yeah, there we go. Oh, perfect. Okay. Um. And then today we started doing like multiplying and dividing them. Okay. <clears throat> um, so the biggest thing when you're multiplying and dividing. Okay. Uh, the really the only thing you have to remember with multiplying and dividing is the index has to be the same. Okay. So if I have a cube root and a square root, I can't multiply and divide those together. Okay. Uh, but if the indexes are the same, then basically you're going to, so if I change this index to a cube root, then I'm going to take my coefficient, the number out in front, I'm going to take those coefficients, whatever coefficients are together, and I would multiply those. And then whatever the radicands are, I could multiply those. <coughs> Always remembering to simplify at the end. Okay. Okay. So uh, I just got another message on my phone that my phone's going to die. So if I die, then I'll have to hook up with you once I get home. Yeah, for sure. Uh, yeah. But there's there's always there's a, there's a whole bunch more little tricks with division than there is with multiplication. Okay. So with multiplication, the way I teach my kids is I say the best thing you could do is simplify everything first because that's going to make your numbers smaller and the more you've throughout your entire life so far you would have dealt with smaller numbers than bigger numbers yeah it just makes it easier, it just makes it easier and it makes it simpler so if you see a radical that can be simplified try and simplify it first and then do the multiplication step okay. you still have to check at the end to make sure that you can or can't simplify it um, but always try and simplify it at the beginning. Okay. Is there a specific example you want to yeah. tackle? Okay, so um, it, this one's bracket four. Bracket four. Square root two. Oh, and that's going to be multiplied by something? Yeah, and then bracket 3 square root 2 minus square root 5. Did anything change on your screen? Um, it still looks okay? Yeah, it's, it's, it's still coming. 
Okay, because I just tilted my screen. So what's the second bracket? Uh, the second bracket is three root two minus root five. Okay, I'm getting too close to the top of my screen. That's why. Okay. Something like that. Yeah. Okay. So, do you remember multiplying binomials last year yeah, in grade ten and using foil? Yeah. 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 So that's what you have to use here. Okay. So first, outside, inside, last. Right. Okay. So far, so good. Yeah. And then, and then remember, when you're multiplying, it's coefficient times coefficient, yeah. and then radical times radical. So we can multiply these together because they all have the same index. They're all square roots. Right. Okay. So then I'm going to go 4 root 2 multiplied by 3 root 2 is going to give me uh, 12 root 2. 12 root 2, exactly. Yeah. yeah, no, no. Oh, sorry, not 12 root 2, 12 but 12 root, root, root Yeah, 12 root 4. Because you multiply okay. inside. So on and so on. And so on and so on. Okay. And then you simplify each of those. And if you can combine things together, you you, can, you combine things. Um, so if they have, end up, go ahead. When you're simplifying, if you can simplify apples, in apples, you can't like, you couldn't like, if you had like a two, the root of two, and like you have a four outside of it, you can't divide it by two, because one's a root. Correct. Okay. Yeah, apples and apples, yeah. Okay, for sure. Okay, yeah, that's awesome. If your phone's dying, I think I should be fine. Thank you. Okay, yeah, give that a whirl, and I'll be in touch. Uh, I'll be in touch when I get home, just to make sure there's nothing else. For sure, thank you. How's that? So how's that sound? Okay. Yeah, appreciate it. No worries. Okay, see ya. Okay, later. No worries. Talk to you later. See ya. I'm kind of yelling and I shouldn't be yelling. <laughs>